Hello everyone and welcome to this new video about MLflow. In today's video we are going to explore some methods that we can use to retrieve um, information about the experiments that we have created uh, using MLflow. So in the screen you can see the code uh, in the code that I am using a function called get MLflow experiment. So this is a new function that I have created under my MLflow uh, utils.pi package. And this is basically the function get MLflow experiment. Uh, which receives uh, the experiment ID or the experiment name. Um, so in this case, what I am using, I am basically using two methods from MLflow: get experiment, and in which I had to pass as an argument the experiment ID, and get experiment by name. In in this case, I had to pass the name of the experiment. So this is basically the uh, the the two methods that we have in MLflow to retrieve experiments using either the name of the experiment ID. Um, so this is a, a, let's say, simple function. Let's look at this uh, to our main script, retrieve experiments. So here I am using the experiment, uh, the function, sorry, and I'm specifying the experiment name, testing MLflow2. Let's execute this code, Python02, retrieve experiments. Now we can see, you know, the all the basically this function is uh, getting the experiment in under this object experiment, and here in these lines of code we are printing that information. So we have, for example, the experiment name, the experiment ID, the artifact location, tags, life cycle stage, and so on. So let's say they want to retrieve the default one. I can use something like default. And I'm going to have similar information. In this case, we have name default, experiment ID is zero, uh, the artifact location. In this case, we don't have tags, and so on. So let's say that now I don't have the name of the experiment. I only have access to the experiment ID, experiment ID. And let's say that I'm interested in retrieving the default experiment, which ID is zero. So let's print this. Let's execute this. Um, Okay, we, we, can, we can see here the information about the project. The name, the experiment ID, artifact location, and so on. Let's say that I am interested in retrieving this one. I can go to this folder, uh, go to the meta.jml file, copy the ID, and paste this here. Let's execute this code. And we have more information about them. Uh, the experiment. So that's everything for this video. In the next video, we are going to see how to delete experiments in MLflow. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one.